Hey there, I'm out here in my garage in the winter for another project. I don't do a whole lot of cosmetic stuff with my Miata, but there's one thing that I really wanted to get. Um, it's basically a replacement for this. I think it's called the Scuttle cover, Scuttle, scuttle panel, something like that. But it uh, goes right here below the cowl on the passenger side. And basically what this does is it covers up the um, intake for the where the blower motor is for your ventilation and jazz performance has a really nice uh stainless steel aftermarket one it covers the entire area from uh left to right and it's in two pieces now i just got this and it didn't come with any instructions or anything so i'm kind of figuring this out as i go and um I'm not going to document the entire installation process. Basically, the cowl cover has to come off. Um, to take the entire cowl cover off, you do have to take the wipe, wiper arms off. Um, there's a lot. To get this part off here, there are some screws that are sort of concealed underneath the cowl cover. And plus, you'd really want to take this off anyways to get it all nice and clean underneath that new panel. So going to go ahead and install this and then I'll show you once I'm done. So I'm going through a little bit of trial and error here. Um, this thing did not come with any instructions. The product photos are not very good in demonstrating how it goes together. And it is in multiple pieces and it has a whole bag of hardware. So I've been trying to kind of figure this out on my own as I go. And I did learn that this black plastic piece does not have to come off. So I went through a lot of trouble taking that out and now I just put it back in and now I'll try to finish this up and then I'll give you my little review. Whatever you do, don't drop these little fuckers. We're working right under the firewall in the engine bay with those tiny little nuts there. And the last thing you wanna do is actually drop one of these cause they did not include any extras. Okay, and here it is. Everything's in and all the bolts are tightened down. So I showed you these uh, tiny little screws and they have nuts that go on the underside of the, the, the lip of the firewall. Then you have these larger um, hex bolts right here. And I think these use a five millimeter hex socket and those use a two millimeter hex socket. They have to be pretty tight. My biggest concern with this right now is rattling. Um, of course, I, it's still in my garage. I haven't actually driven it yet, but just tapping on it, there were a few little areas that I thought maybe some vibration was gonna come through, mostly on the driver's side. Um, there's a couple areas in there that I thought could use some more support. Um, I did actually put some little bit of weather stripping, rubber stripping underneath this edge right here. Because just tapping on it, I can feel a little bit of a little bit of a rattle there, and everything is tightened down the way it should be. But it, I imagine it will be different with the hood down and closed, and the weather stripping back on. And that's actually another thing: um, these screws, these bolts go into the holes that hold, have the weather stripping that the weather stripping clips go into. These little white plastic clips that hold the weather stripping in place for the firewall. And they don't have anything to sort of replace that. Um, these are definitely necessary to hold the panel in place, but with those bolts there, you can't use the clips to put the weather stripping back. So I don't know how I'm gonna put the weather stripping back. I really don't wanna use any adhesive or anything, but if I have to, because that's what I'll do. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna send them an email, see if I can get some tips about installing the, the weather stripping. Another thing that I had to do, pretty um, obvious, but had to uh, disconnect the washer fluid tubing from the hood connector. And this is all original, it's all kind of old, and I couldn't get it to separate, so I had to snip that. And I think I'm actually gonna have to get a new connector here for this, a new clip to uh, snap it back in because this is all, I, I can't uh, get this old uh, tubing to separate from this old clip. So I'm just gonna order a new one of those and then I'll get that reconnected. So 
has a couple of holes here that, again, there's no instructions, so they don't say how you're supposed to route that through or even what these holes are for. So I just picked one, and that's where I'm going to run that through. So, um, so again, to sort of recap with how to install this, you have to remove the firewall weather stripping completely and all of those white plastic clips that are holding your weather stripping in, those are probably going to break. Um, I had about half of mine break off. Um, you don't have to take the wiper cowl off. You don't have to take the um, factory scuttle panel off. You leave all of that stuff there. Basically just remove the weather stripping and you'll take off uh, the factory 10 millimeter bolts that are right here that connect, go through the fender. Um, and then those bolts are actually left out and replaced with the um, hex sockets that they provide. So that's it. Um, it certainly looks cool, but we'll see. I don't know how it's actually going to perform. If this thing rattles like crazy, I'm going to be pretty unhappy about that because I don't like any... I don't, I don't want my accessories to cause any sort of unnecessary noise you know, rattling or anything like that. It doesn't really make the car better if it's making a bunch of noises that don't need to be there. So I really don't want to have to take this thing back off and reinstall it because there are so many little bolts. There's a lot of um, kind of nudging and shoving to get everything lined up correctly with all of the holes. So it was kind of a pain to get that part done. So I really don't want to have to repeat that but if I was going to start this over again, I would actually go over all of the metal with some, some thin um, rubber weather stripping. And I would probably use some rubber washers on the underside of those um, hex uh, socket bolts that they, that they have you use. So we'll see. Um, again, it looks pretty cool. I don't have the weather stripping back in yet. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'll email them about that. But um, there you have it. I got this from Top Miata. And it was about, I think it was like $89. And it did have to go through international shipping. I saw that it came from, the, the, the ship shipment in, originated from Bulgaria, I believe. And went through Germany and UK and... Eventually it got here, but so there we go. Hope that helps. Um, and I'll, I'll make an update video if I get some feedback from, from Jass about the weather stripping thing, cause you know, that's kind of bothering me right now, but I'll get it figured out.